What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and we've heard that a new warning has been issued to President Joe Biden about that $3.5 trillion stimulus package that just got approved to start today. This is your stimulus check update and your stimulus package update. Now, as you know, I just released a video on it saying great news for those of you who are interested in more stimulus as we saw the Senate this morning decide to go ahead with the process of budget resolution and then proceed to reconciliation for the largest stimulus package that we have seen so far. However, take a look at this headline that just came out this morning. Manchin sends warning shot over, quote, serious concerns about the $3.5 trillion spending plan. And what we're hearing is he's saying that this is way too much spending. He's very concerned about where things are going right now with stimulus. Now, we've already heard from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Take a look here. Schumer reacts to Manchin's, quote, serious concern about Dems' $3.5 trillion spending plan, saying, we have come together. So you guys, I'm going to be reading to you the response that we received. And we've also heard a little bit from None other than President Joe Biden. Take a look. Biden tackles inflation concerns as he touts win on infrastructure. So you guys, literally today, we have heard that they're going to proceed with this stimulus package. And already we're hearing some resistance from moderate Democrats. And this is a little bit concerning. And here's why. Because right now, through the process of reconciliation, they're going to be able to pass this through Congress with a majority vote, the Democrats, that is, but in the Senate. The Senate, you know, there's a hundred members possible. It's currently split 50-50, 50 Democrats, 50 Republicans. And in order for them to pass this through with a majority vote, they have to get literally every single Democrat on board, including Senator Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, those moderate Democrats that are saying, this is way too much spending. So they have to get them on board in order to pass this through the process of reconciliation in the Senate and then pass it on to the House. So you guys, I'm gonna dive into these articles, get you caught up on the latest as we're hearing these warning shots fired from Senator Joe Manchin to President Joe Biden about reconciliation. So we're gonna dive right in, but before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, just takes a second, if you like and appreciate these updates, keeping up to date on everything that's unfolding right now with stimulus, Congress, the economy, unemployment, any of that good stuff, don't forget to just take a second to smash that like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel a ton. Also, leave your comments down below. I love hearing your thoughts on this and also share this out if you think it's gonna help out other people as well. Now, in addition to that, if this is your first time here and you wanna stay up to date on all this stuff, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, come join the Ram Fam. I'll keep you up to date on all this stuff so you know what's going on. And if you got any specific questions that you want me to answer, be sure to shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at Steve Ram. Three, that is by far the best way to get a hold of me if you got any specific questions that you want me to answer. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into these articles and I'm going to let you know the latest. As we just saw this get approved to start the process for the $3.5 trillion stimulus package, and now we're already hearing of some resistance. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, you guys, so as always, link in the description below to this article if you'd like to read it for yourself. I always cite my articles for you so that way you know that I'm actually reading directly from these news reports and I'm not just making up random stuff, okay? So the article says, Senator Joe Manchin, he is sending a warning shot to President Joe Biden and congressional leaders saying he has, quote, serious concerns about spending $3.5 trillion on a massive package that Democrats want to pass later this year. Now, Manchin said in a statement earlier Wednesday, today, that he has, quote, serious concerns about the grave consequences if Congress decides to spend another $3.5 trillion. Now, given the current state of the economic recovery, it is simply irresponsible to continue spending at levels more suited to respond to a Great Depression or a Great Recession, not an economy that is on the verge of overheating, Manchin said. Now, he added that irresponsible levels of spending could negatively impact the United States' ability to react to, quote, unforeseen consequences. And he said, I urge my colleagues to seriously consider this reality as this budget process unfolds in the coming weeks and months. Now, Manchin has previously raised concerns about the debt and Republicans are warning that the spending plan combined with the $1.9 trillion pandemic bill is driving concerns about inflation, which they've used to hammer Democrats in recent weeks. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but they're saying that we're gonna be heating up our economy too much, that this is gonna all hit at once and we're gonna be experiencing some serious inflation. And I know a lot of people are saying we're already experiencing it. They're saying prices of goods and services are increasing all over the nation and we're seeing inflation already begin to take place. And I wanna say that they already had projected month over month, just last month, 5% increase 
in inflation. And I think they were expecting something like 3%. So it's going up pretty quickly. And what they're saying is this is just going to pour gasoline on the fire. Let me know your thoughts down below. Should we stop stimulus because of inflation concerns or is it still needed? Now reading on it says, but his new statement comes only hours after Senate Democrats approved a budget blueprint that includes the 3.5 trillion top line and broad instructions on drafting the spending plan Democrats want to pass this fall without any GOP votes. Now reading on the article says that Manchin's statement on Wednesday is the latest sign of a looming headache. And that is because as I mentioned in the Senate, they literally have to have every single Democratic Senator on board to pass this through. They cannot have one single person decide that they want to go against it. So right now they have to get unified to make this happen. And in addition to that, listen to this, Senator Kirsten Sinema of Arizona, she has already signaled that she won't support a $3.5 trillion price tag and will try to shrink the spending package as Democrats draft and negotiate it in the weeks and months ahead. Now, we're gonna be seeing here in just a second why we probably shouldn't be too worried though because as we've seen in the past, we'll have members of Congress that decide they've got an issue with a provision or the overall price tag with a bill or a stimulus package but negotiations will take place and that's very likely to happen. Hold that thought here. We're gonna read her statement really quick though. I have made it clear that while I will support the beginning of the process, I do not support a bill that costs 3.5 trillion. And in the coming months, I will work in good faith to develop this legislation with my colleagues and the administration to strengthen Arizona's economy and help Arizona's everyday families get ahead, Cinema said in a statement last month. But listen to this. But any push to go smaller is likely to spark fierce pushback from progressives. Progressive Democrats actually want to go larger. Whose votes leadership also needs in both the House and the Senate to pass the eventual speaking package. And listen to this. After Cinema's warning, Representative AOC fired back and said, good luck tanking your own party's investment on childcare, climate action, and infrastructure. And AOC sending warning shots to Cinema, letting her know if you don't want to pass a $3.5 trillion stimulus package in the Senate, well, guess what? When that comes our way in the House, along with that infrastructure bill that you helped assemble, we might not pass it if you don't get on board. So you guys, there's definitely going to be some negotiating going on. It is not just like Cinema or Joe Manchin are holding all the cards in their hands. Uh, there is some leverage that they could have used against them. Now, I will keep you up to date as to whatever unfolds. But in addition to that, we've already heard back a response from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Take a look here. Link in the description below to this article that was just released today and updated just an hour ago. Schumer reacts to Manchin's serious concerns about Democrats' $3.5 trillion spending plan. And he says... We have come together. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said today, Wednesday, that he's confident that Senator Joe Manchin's serious concerns about Democrats' massive $3.5 trillion spending plan won't stand in the way of the package that's a key part of President Joe Biden's agenda. And he said earlier this morning, I voted yes on the procedural vote to move forward on the budget reconciliation process because I believe it is important to discuss the fiscal policy future of this country, Manchin said in a statement. However, I have serious concerns about the grave consequences facing West Virginians and every American family if Congress decides to spend another $3.5 trillion. Now, there are some in my caucus who might believe it's too much. This is a statement from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. There are some in my caucus who might believe it's too little. I can tell you this, in reconciliation, one, we are going to all come together and get something done, and two, it might have every part of the Biden plan in a big, bold, robust way. Schumer added that it will absolutely not be easy, but said every member of the caucus realizes that unity is our strength, we have come together. Now, asked to address Manchin's inflation concerns specifically, and Schumer said Democrats plan to pay for their plan with tax increases that stick with Biden's rules by closing loopholes, having the wealthy and big corporations finally, finally, finally pay their fair share. So you guys, we're hearing that Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is saying he's confident he's gonna get Joe Manchin on board for 3.5 trillion by showing him how we're gonna be paying for it, and that is, by increasing taxes on the wealthiest Americans and corporations to help pay for this $3.5 trillion spending package, the largest stimulus package that we have seen so far. 
Now, in addition to that, we also heard today from President Joe Biden. Take a look, link in the description below to this article that just came out today that says Biden tackles inflation concerns. So addressing uh, Joe Manchin's concerns as he touts a win on infrastructure today. President Joe Biden on Wednesday today hit back against inflation concerns and took a victory lap for his recent Senate win, citing a series of economic reports released in recent days that he says shows his plans for the American economy are working and the president also outlined a number of new steps in his administration that they're going to be taking to lower consumer costs like groceries and oil so they're aware of the fact that goods they're starting to cost more and more and they're going to be taking some steps towards trying to get those prices down now in a speech from the east room in the white house biden touted a new report from the bureau of labor statistics that showed the consumer price inflation slowed during july though it remained elevated stripping out more volatile food and energy items consumer prices rose 4.3% in 12 months ended in July. Now, slightly below June's rise, the overall price rose 5.4% over the period. And that's the one we had heard that was some pretty shocking news, much higher than they had expected. Now, flat compared with June, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported Wednesday. Now, the report came days after a positive jobs report showed the economy added 943,000 jobs during the month of July. So you guys, that is the latest, and yes, updates are literally coming out like by the hour. And I've actually had somebody call me and message me and say, you know what, I really don't understand what's going on. I thought they said they passed the stimulus package this morning, and I had to explain to them, no, what happened was, they had to vote on whether or not to argue to start. And that vote passed, they had an argument, the Votorama, discussing all of whether or not they should start the process of reconciliation or budget resolution. And then this morning, they voted to pass that. So first they had to vote to argue to start, then they had to vote to start. Now they've started, and you guys, they still have quite a process to go. And so there's literally all of these steps and phases that they're gonna be going through to get this next stimulus package out. And now we already, on day one, are seeing some resistance, and literally hours later, seeing responses back from Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and from Joe Biden. So you guys, there's a lot of stuff coming out, but don't worry. I'm going to stay on top of it. I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date here on the channel as to what's going on with Stimulus Congress, the economy, unemployment, and everything going on. And as always, thank you so much for joining me here on the channel. And don't forget, if you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. I would appreciate it. It really helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments down below. Share this out. If this is your first time here. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Come join the Ram Fam. I'll keep you up to date on all this stuff that's happening. And also, if you got any specific questions for me, shoot to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. That's the best way to get a hold of me if you got any questions for me. But with that being said, you guys, hope this reaches you well. Remember, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Times, Monday through Friday, that is when you have guaranteed uploads from Steve and also random uploads throughout the day as news breaks. But with that being said, hope this reaches you well. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.